Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to talk about machine learning. What is machine learning actually? We would like to ask what is machine learning? So uh, ML can be defined as a set of methods that can automatically detect patterns in data and then use the uncovered patterns to predict future data or perform other kinds of decision making under uncertainty. So this is the basic definition of machine learning. There are three types of ML. Okay, so we can tell it as uh, first method as predictive. Second, we can call it as descriptive. Uh, predictive is also called as supervised. And descriptive can also be called as unsupervised. The third type of machine learning that we can define as is called as reinforcement learning. So these are three types of machine learning. Uh, reinforcement learning is not, I mean, I, I won't say that it's not much used, but we are not going to talk about much detail for about reinforcement learning. So now going about predictive or as we can call it as the supervised learning. So what is predictive learning? Predictive learning, we can call it as uh, mapping of inputs to your outputs. So it is like mapping your inputs X. Suppose we have inputs as x and then we have outputs as y. So mapping between these two is what we can define by predictive or supervised learning. In okay so this is we can call it as predictive learning predictive or supervised as we can say. So in this learning, we saw that it is map, uh, input output mapping. Now the thing that happens in this is uh, a set of input output label pairs is given to you. So we have a set of input output pairs given to us. This is also called a set of labeled pairs. So how are these pairs? These pairs are labeled pairs. And supervised learning can be written as xi, yi and that goes from i is equal to 1 to n. So uh, we can explain this with an example. Okay, so xi we can call it as input and input for supervised learning is basically uh, such as features or attributes. This is the input given for the supervised learning and yi you can get this as uh, categorial. You can call it, call the output as categorial. Uh, this can be used in categorial classification. I will explain this to you right now with an example. Suppose, uh, suppose the inputs uh, are in terms of weight or height. Okay, so you have weight or height as your input, and then in output, that is why you are having classification. So depending upon the input, weight and height. We are going to classify whether it is a male or a female. So this is how uh, we can say that predictive or supervised learning works. Uh, yi can also, this output y can also be used uh, in pattern recognition. pattern recognition that is also similar to classification but now when yi see this is uh, you know this is like classification into two or more things 
but when y i is real valued means like y i belongs to r that type of classification is called as regression okay so what we have learned till now is uh, there are three types of uh, ml learning first is predictive that is supervised second is descriptive that is unsupervised and third is reinforcement in predictive or supervised it is just uh, like input output mapping so you get the input and you check for the output uh, we have okay so going further in supervised learning we saw that mapping was a goal okay we already saw that uh, how classification was done uh, between male and female by uh, by following a set of features or attributes as we can say so classification is of two types first one we can call it as binary classification and the second we can call it as multi class classification in case of binary classification c equal to 2 so what is c okay so input is x and output is y such that y belongs to 1 to c so if the number of y belongings is 2 is what we can call it as binary and in case of multi class if c is greater than 2 it is called as multi class classification uh coming to an example of supervised learning suppose we are having a set of toys okay and we want to classify between if it whether it belongs to set 1 or set 0 in case of set 1 suppose we are having a dark one and let's see uh, this is white one and an ellipse which is dark one and suppose this is an ellipse of white one so how are we going to classify them so we have to first set the features according to which we are going to classify them so what could be the features it could be color or maybe shape or uh, for the matter of fact we can also take size as one of the feature and then our output or we can call it as a label so depending upon color uh, we can call this as dark one and these as white so depending upon dark which shape so it may be circular what size so depending on all these three features we can classify this first toy as label 1 toy similarly we can classify this as 1 or this as 0 the these features can be discrete or they can be continuous or they can also be a combination of both of them above shown are the cases which uh, none of them have been seen before means we don't know these cases from before we are going to classify them depending on the features okay but what do we need to do when we need to generalize how are we going to generalize this so for generalization as we saw in the previous problem most of the dark elements or or the dark toys that we classified were present in set 1 or label 1 but when we came in case of white they could be we we saw that there were two entries for white right so we can see that they could either be present in one or zero depending on the size so this could cause an ambiguous case okay so this is an ambiguity 
to distinguish between label 1 or label 2. This is where probabilistic prediction is used. We need to use probability for this purpose to handle our ambiguity. So how can this be done? So denoting the probability distribution over possible labels is the way out for this. So we will be having input vector that is x and we are having a training set that is D. So the general representation for probability is given as probability of y by x for a given set of training D. With this probabilistic output we can always compute best guess. 